non-financial measures of quality. We're going to look at two problems, uh, exercise 10 and exercise 11, to compute uh, some important measurements of quality as far as products and services are concerned. One is called cycle time. Cycle time says from the time the customer says, I want it, till the time the customer has a smile on their face because they're so delighted with their product, how long does that take? So cycle time is made up of purchase order lead time. Now purchase order lead time is the time it takes the customer to place the order and for the business to receive that order and to get it in queue for it to be produced. The second type of time is the product cycle time. How long does it take to make the product or produce the service? And the third type of time is once the product is completed, how long does it take it to be shipped or delivered back to the customer? So cycle time includes the lead time, the production time, and the delivery time. Now in exercise 10, it says that the total cycle time is four uh, days. And we know we have to find A, which is the purchase order lead time. We know that the production cycle time is two days and the delivery time is one day. So how do we compute cycle time? A plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 4. So how long does it take for the customer to order it and for the um, business to accept the order and get it ready to produce? Well, I think that number A is equal to, did you say one day? Must be right. So in any case, you can do this cycle time. An easy example of cycle time is think about if you're um, selling, uh, say, Avon products or Girl Scout cookies, what is the cycle time? How long is the lead time? How long does it take to produce the cookies? If you're doing Girl Scout cookies, how long does it take to deliver it? And you'll notice in recent years, do Girl Scout cookies also sell in front of grocery stores? Why is that? Well, because their purchase order lead time is so long. Who has made a great job out of cycle time? Think about Dell computers. From the time the customer says, I want my Dell computer, and you custom order it till the time that that Dell computer is uh, delivered to your doorstep, it's less than a week, isn't it? And that's because Dell's model of success is based upon this non-financial measure called cycle time. Now, once you have production cycle time, how long does it take you to produce the product? You're very interested in, are you efficient in how you produce? So what we want to look at in, in, when we compute waste time is the cycle time, how long did it take you to make the product? And we're going to subtract from that the average process time. In other words, how long do you think it should take you to make the product? And we'll also subtract the average setup time. Because whenever you make a product or provide a service, there's a bit of time that you've got to get all the stuff together set up so that you can produce the product plus this production. So in exercise 11, it says the waste time is equal to one um, hour, day, whatever it is. And we know that that's going to be equal to our product cycle time. It actually took, took us six hours. Um, and then our average process time, we don't know. But we do know that our setup time is an hour. So 6 minus A minus 1 is equal to 1. So what is our average cycle, our process time? Our average process time must be equal to, is it, is it 4? I think it's 4. So 6 minus 4 minus 1 is equal to 1. So how much time did we waste? We wasted one, let's say, hour. Could we improve? You bet. 